Welcome back to Dyson Jet Program. My name is Nilaus, and we're here back in our home system. And uh, just as we killed one hive, another one just came in. We are just taking it apart because it's a small and annoying hive that uh, should be taken out pretty damn quickly. Let's see if I can take that out. Um, there we go. And that's, of course, provoking the two other hives. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this is what not what we're going to do. We're going to be zooming a little bit out and taking a look at this is our Dyson Swarm. So the Dyson Swarm is going to be replaced with the Dyson Sphere. So that means we need to find a place to actually build the Dyson Sphere. And we just so happen to have this glorious place here. Oh, are they are they fighting? Oh, yeah, they're kind of fighting my ships here. Cool. Uh, I should have enough power to get to this location. We got 120 new vessels incoming. That doesn't matter at all. We want to burn through their remaining stock. And at this location, we need to figure out where do we want to build... Uh, I think we want to build up. Oh, hmm. We do have some solar panels being built here. Yeah, here's some solar panels. Let's actually use that as a good location. Isn't this a good location then? So it's kind of next to it. Yeah. So let's clear the space and start making some some more progress on this. And the big f fleet here is coming in towards our home planet, Ideas of March. And I don't think they're going to be long for this world because they seem to have the idea that they want to attack from the North Pole. You can see this is where they come in. So that's like the worst place that they can come in. We have 110. Well, that goes down pretty quickly. We can't, unfortunately... Oh, that's not what we want. Yeah, we can't, unfortunately, see the shots coming out. But uh, oh, they are there. They go down really quickly. They just disappear as they come in. So absolutely no problem taking this out. What we have here is uh, we are going to have a beautiful design that we have spent time and uh, well money on building it a long time ago. So I think that should just be fine to just stamp it down. This is a beautiful build. I think. Let's try it and see what it does. So this will make... What do you want? You are going to make some small carrier rockets. You are going to make some quantum chips. You are going to make some... Or get inbound some quantum chips, inbound some deuterium uh, fuel rods. And also some solar sails. Okay, so we need to get quantum chips, deuterium fuel cells, and carbon nanotubes, and titanium alloy in here. Not uh, That's a lot of things we don't really have. Luckily, we have them on our home planet. Not in huge quantities, but in, in quantities that we can use. So we should kind of... Let's take that one. This one doesn't seem... What are the things we wanted? We wanted to get... And this is the beauty for me, at least, of why I'm using this system. Now I just... Oh, that's not right. The opposite. There. So I have one place and just scale. Like, now it's coming into this planet and I don't need to sort of mess around with anything else. Um, then I can take another one. Oh, this is the sugar cubes. Uh, let's get you some... What were the other things? Common nanotubes? Sure. Let's get that as well. Let's get over here. We get the deuterium fuel rods. There we go. And what was the last thing we wanted? Hmm... Titanium alloys. There, there we go. Titanium alloys. So all those things have to be brought in and we get all of those in here. So as they come into this location, they will be manually brought in or manually. <laughs> they'll be automatically brought in to uh, this location. And you know what? I think I need one more of these. Uh, not because I can actually support it. I cannot. Oh, what are we missing? Ah, inserters. Solvers. That's what they're called. Uh, we can't really build this yet, but we can definitely sort of uh, get it going. This one is also bringing stuff in. Not a lot, but a little bit is coming in. And we'll be sure to get more. And so once this is built, we can now go to South Pole here and set you up to... I don't really want this many. I think I just want a 1,000. And then I'll be claiming it here from the local production and then I'll also be providing it out to other locations. That's actually why I want to do this. There you go. So if I have an excess here, I'll be providing it outbound. Let's uh, fire this up so they can actually bring it in. Uh, there's nothing to build yet, but they will get here very soon. And now this is built. Good. And we have proliferations uh, speeding along here, so that's very nice. Uh, we don't have enough proliferation apparently, but we're getting it. We're getting stuff in here. These are coming in, and here they're coming in. So we don't have a, a, a Dyson Sphere yet. Hmm. So we have um, 
luckily a, an awesome community where there are some really cool designs you can also find in the link in the description which takes you to the blueprints they'd also take you to a number of different uh, dyson sphere designs that i've been using over the various uh, seasons and uh, here i'm going to be loading a new one and you can see the paste i'm pasting and i'm just saying yes there we go then i have a uh, promised another thing and that's changing this color here uh, that's let's see if I can do it. 390 uh, 359 86 and 42 42 that's the color of red wine that's spilled on uh, the table and that is the color that Vitrio has decided that his uh, his star <laughs> his, his uh, swarm should be called should be uh, colored so well spilled red wine is uh, is the color and we'll just set the last one here as well it looks gorgeous by the way but uh, there, and the last one is 42. There we go. And then we can see. Let's go up here and see if we get the first launches. Are you getting anything inbound? No, not yet. Well, that's actually good because we want to see the first one come inbound. Um, here's actually another thing. It actually looks really good when it, uh, it it launches like all at once. But I also, on the other hand, like the... Oh, look at that. Spilled red wine. Um, looks really cool when it's inbound in another way let's see what is missing no this is fine this is fine this is fine and this is fine okay so it's just a matter of they haven't reached 100 yet and then when they reach 100 they will be saying sending it out we'll definitely not be able to feed all of these they launch at a rate of uh, lack of rockets yes but um five per minute mm, so what's one every 12 seconds and there are how many again 30 of those so ah doing math um five per minute and there are 30 of them so that's i don't know you figure it out it's it's a lot more than we can produce for sure and the particular problem here is that we can't even support this by the way that is a major oh there we go that one got empty and this one is almost so we're going to get the first one in i think it's this one. Oh, glorious there we go and then they will go out on this belt nope they'll go out on this belt zoom zoom go in and that one is is opening, 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 going all the way around. Let's see here the rockets. Oh, that looks so good. Looks so damn good. And that means we've now started on our Dyson Sphere. Woohoo! It's it's a little bit uh, it's it's progress, yes. But if we look at it, uh, I need to <laughs> launch. I need structure points, and I think what is it? Structure points is not rockets, right? There's 20 rockets to one structure point. I can't remember how it is, but it's 200. And 68,000 structure points. So, um, yeah, we definitely need to increase our production. Now, what we have done here is a little step of the way. Uh, we have just simply launched uh, or built the rocket launching facility here. Uh, that has to go like this. Uh, or the rocket building facility. But, of course, it's not going to keep up. But it's not going to keep up because we need more titanium alloy. We need more carbon nanotubes. Uh, we need more quantum chips and we need more to cheer fuel rods. so we need to upgrade all this the only thing we don't need to need more of is solar sails and uh, what are these things the processors and the high purity silicon and we have enough of that right now so i think that the one the thing we need the most is carbon nanotubes so let's set up on a quest to find carbon nanotubes and that will also give us uh, the title of uh, of this episode and that will be how to really with this high tech we have now how do we really just claim a planet excruciatingly fast oh that looks so damn good oh i love the fact that they're not launching in one fell swoop but they're just <laughs> one continuous uh, link in here nice right so what we need to do is oh, look at that is that actually coming in that's coming into us damn it we can intercept that if we want to um I need to find a place where it has... Oh, this is the one. Stalagmite crystal. There. This one is called Samuel God. The... Ah, uh, we didn't warp, warp space, right? Samuel God. Thank you very much, Samuel God. The newest uh, patron of the highest rank. The new master of the path. There we go. And, um... Yeah, this one. We really want to take that out. But anyway, this location, what is that? It has a... A gas giant with deuterium which is what we're gonna need eventually not right now and it had stalagmite stalagmite and it has organic crystals well that's nice organic crystal is always nice and where's the other planet the other planet has kimberlite which is going to be diamonds which will also be nice so this one is also going to have uh, a lot of 
coal, which is good. So this could also be a proliferator build. So we can do proliferators, which means we need the kimberlite as well for diamonds. And we need the carbon nanotubes, which we can already make here. So let's go there and claim this planet. It should also have a name, of course. So we're now warping away, but we're not actually warping to the Samagot system. We're warping to the, uh, or at least trying to warp towards the, uh, uh, there it is. Oh, we, we, we failed. Uh, this one, because we do have something inbound. That little star over here is not a friend of ours. Uh, let's go into this one, and I'm going to have to fly as fast as we can, because this is flying to which location. I don't know how far this is away. Uh, it doesn't say the ETA. It says a lot of bias, but uh, yeah, the seed here, the seed is uh, is flying away. So we're going to be intercepting this, and when we get a little bit closer, we'll be uh, also launching. Next. Actually, I can just warp there, right? There we are. And then we just do this. One, two, three, four. Intercept. And it's gone. Good. That was, um, that is excruciatingly easy, but when you see it, it's actually worth it to jump out there and intercept. So now we can go back to this look. Oh, no, no, no. To this location, that location here, TSI Kelowna. And that's the one we want to launch to. Hmm. Is this warp time? Yeah. Actually, I should not have these uh, out. Shouldn't they be disappearing now? Here we are. Way too fast. Way, 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 way too fast. Let me slow down and get closer. And we don't have any power. So now we need to land somewhere on this planet that is somewhat safe. Uh, easier said than done. Uh, let's just... Oh, it's a beautiful planet. Let's uh, go a little bit in orbit. Oh, that's a little bit dangerous. Okay, but what I actually want to do here is uh, show you the new way of doing this, because now I can just do this. And they are indicated as uh, shoot the relay stations, so every one of those get really pissed off that we kill the relay stations. But that's going to make everything so much easier for us if we just kill all the relay stations, have our fleet hover around, and then I'm going to be looking for a sweet spot on this damn planet here where we can land. Uh, oh, they, are they shooting at us? Weird. Um... I think I just need to land somewhere, and then I'll find out later on where. Oh, really? They're actually... Okay. Okay, let's go up here, and then uh, land again when it's a little safer. All right, we have now landed on the planet, and I'm looking for... Okay, I think my ships have engaged. Have they? Yeah, they went out here and engaged the puny fleets that are coming in. I am uh, going to find a location here. Oh crap, I don't want to have that inbound. Uh, let's get the weapons online. I really don't want you to fight. Can you can you just stop attacking me? I need you to not attack me. I need this to be a nice and quiet place. Let's have a look. Uh, look at this. This is the easiest way to look at it. Yeah. So I need to find the middle. I think this is the middle. Here. Yes, it's very much uh, just... Very close to the equator. There's the equator. Good. This is like a good spot. Uh, there's a good space around me. So what I'm going to do now is... Um, first, I'm going to disable my spaceship fleet. Because... Uh, are they disabled? Yes. Because they will use some power and I need the power right now. So what I'm going to do is I am going to start by... Um, getting some of these in here. I will be taking some of this and then build some, get some good area around where we are right now. Maybe like this. And over here, this one needs to be suppressed a little bit. And that needs to be suppressed just in case. And then right smack there in the middle, I'll go in and place a landfall fortress for the equator. This is a yet another iteration of this. This is uh, built towards simplicity. I am carefully placing it exactly on the equator, or at least I'm trying. There we go. It it can be it must be placed exactly on the equator, but it's not doesn't have to be placed exactly. Um, like it can be placed anywhere on the equator. So basically, what I have is like if I can land on the North Pole, I prefer that because then I can build my polar hub as we've been before. If I can't land, but then I'm gonna find a place on the equator that I can land. Uh, this thing here is pretty durable. It gets stuff inbound, but it doesn't activate yet. Um, and 
not until it actually gets the power. So right now it's safe. You can see there's absolutely no threat being accumulated right now. So no threats at all. Once we get some of the, the battlefield analysis base, then it'll start building if they were powered, but they're not powered. So right now we're just seeing stuff come out. We're seeing the Turian, we're seeing the... Oh, so now it's ready to go. So if I wanna fire this up, then I just put a little bit of my Turian fuel into this and then it'll spring into action very quickly. And I want to make sure that we have, like, built the power over here. There we go. That should maybe get the power. Yeah, this should get a power connection. So at this point, I feel we've built enough. They'll be a bit lightning quickly when we build the last part. So I'm going to put it in here. And then that's enough to just get it started. And you can see it gets started. And we have the high threat is accumulating really quickly. They just keep bringing in more stuff. And I will now do, uh, let's see. Let's go up here. I'm going to find somewhere close to the edge of uh, the, the, this part, yeah. And then I'll build a little blueprint. That's the little blueprint we need for attack. That's going to consist of this one and this one and this one. The reason why I'm building it close to the edge is because this is the location where the squares are the smallest. Uh, and therefore, it, uh, if I can build it there, I can actually build it anywhere. If you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. And now they come in. So right now, we just start our attack run. And you will see how excruciatingly easy it is when they do not... Um. There. When they don't have this, it is super easy to uh, to kill them. They will also, of course, aggro some more stuff. And I will go here and I'll activate all of these. So they will be uh, protecting my planet. And let's see, can I tap this? Yes. So how many do we have? 20. I don't know. It doesn't matter how many we have. We certainly have enough. It's also funny that our destroyers do not attack anything else. So here, just the barrage coming in. More barrage, more barrage, more barrage. There we go. Get that covered. And that takes out the rest of this one. Moving forward. And we just steamroll into the next. Into the next. And... Okay. There. And they, these build themselves and everything is assembling while they are also attacking from orbit. Not a problem at all. You can see uh, the orbital base, they are, the ships, the fleet is now protecting. Uh, also, you are also protecting, but that's really not a, not a concern. We are having plenty of power because we're now supplementing it with more of this power here. Why? Oh, right. There's a little bit of iron patch. Okay. And the thing is, these will continue to build forward. And as it is now, we're not really getting uh, getting any kind of threat here. And you can just go all the way in. Come on, missile barrage. There we go. Everything gets taken out easily. And another one is ours in a little bit. I will build. continue to go. Mm, it's a little bit difficult to see where that's supposed to go. Maybe there. there. And you can see they can be built at the closest location, which is... Uh, closer to the edge where the squares are smallest and that's because that's where I've made the blueprint There and we're just making a nice little inroad here That takes the last bits out You know technically need to kill these uh, here uh, Or tap these right now. Let's have a look on the planet scale if there's something uh, This seems to be going backwards in Space so that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, and we'll just be keep being attacked. I'll take some of these out as I go backwards because we used like an excruciatingly high amount of, of these uh, for the expansion. We need it for protection when we expand, but we don't need it for protection when we go all the way back. So no need for that. We're sort of having this, but I want to keep it keep one line. Good. Let's go up here and take the next. And I think you can kind of see the idea of this, how easy this is at this point. And we're going to leapfrog into the middle of their base. Nah. Just smash it down. As soon as we get that one built. And that's here. And I don't know if this is... Whoops. Whoa, that's actually not supposed to happen. Uh, what is land? What is water? I have no idea. Oh, there's not a lot of land around here. So it's kind of difficult to place anything. Is that land? Yes, it is. Cool. Take that out. 
Now we just bridge it over on this side. Come on, this house, you can do it. And done. Continuing over towards these. Oh, there's also water in the way. Hmm. Well, it doesn't matter. We have ample opportunities. At this point, we we are super careless, right? And remember, this is the max difficulty, so it's not like uh, they, it, it's not like it, I see sometimes people like, oh, go to go, increase the difficulty. Like I can't, I can't increase the difficulty. Not without mods. And uh, honestly, then it's just going to be more, but it's not going to be more dangerous. But uh, oh, uh, the danger comes from me being stupid and just flying straight into the hives. There we go. But if I don't do that, then it's not dangerous. That one. And tap this as soon as we can. There we go. Get in here. That should be fine, right? Oh, yes. Why? Hmm. Alright, whatever. This is something. I don't get why I can't build the rest. Take this one out. Got it. How many more hives? And they are uh, they are desperate. They want to attack, but the threat keeps falling. And the reason why the threat keeps falling is because they don't have any matter to form an attack force. So they are they want to attack, but they can't because they just don't have any anything to attack with. There. Now this is just it's propagating by itself out here. And annihilating all of this and get that in here for the remainder. And that one. And we have another one up here. How many we le got left? Not a lot. And missiles are pretty good, by the way. These are tier 2 missiles, they're pretty good. Uh, we are up against uh, level 20 hives, so of course they can be get bigger and nastier, but we can also get tier 3 or infinite upgrades and stuff like that so uh, I think we're pretty good when it comes to uh, our offensive capabilities in this game as it is now and missiles at this point are pretty cheap okay that's the stuff going on let's go in and finish it up here and it's also finished up on the other side oh, like that and one more and this one just taking that one out Do that. We want to use our blueprint. There we go. And now we go closer. That should be in range, right? Yes, that's in range. And they are completely neutralized because they don't have anything. There. How many more left? Uh, two left. Okay. So let's uh, go and grab those. And pushing into the last one, the last two. There's still some flyers left in this one. Continue over here. And it's gone, and we tap it, and then the last one on this planet. And this is what I mean by this a very easy way to do this, but it's only easy once you actually have a fleet to protect you against those attacks incoming. Or maybe you could also just do it a bit earlier. Just accept those attacks inbound. Yeah. Um, but having a fleet to just take out all of the... Uh, yeah, take out everything before we go in is extremely beneficial. And there we go. This planet is now ours. So what I do now is I remove all of this and I remove it sort of flowing backwards, not removing the geothermals. I remove it flowing backwards so that you can see all the stuff we're picking up. I am picking that up into my inventory. Um, and then I, from this, I start at the extreme ends and then work my way back. 
So I start with this. So that if I drop something, they will be picked up by the next one in line, which will then be pushing it back towards the central cluster back here. And the reason we do this is oh, uh, it's because we don't really want these to be uh, on the map. We want to clean, have a clean planet, and that's what we're going to do like this. Yeah. And this is also a good way to sort of make sure that we have cleaned up everything. So now here's another branch outwards. So we start at the end of the branch. And that starts up here. Clean out, clean it out. And the planet is now ours. It has, There's no more hives. There's no more trash at this location. Uh, this one also needs to be taken out, this chain here. That goes a long way out, these chains. That's why I'm doing it this way. There. Still kind of a little bit surprising that we don't have a full inventory yet, but that's probably because it's... Uh, yeah, I have, I'm not collecting everything anymore. Good. So, there. Um, there, that one, that one. Anything else? All of this, just drop it. Not really super important to drop it, but uh, then it's out of my inventory. All right, so what do we do now? Now we go and find the North Pole. That's up here. And then we have uh, the procedure as usual. Uh, first of all, we're going to take... There we go. Disable those because we don't need them anymore. And this is now the North Pole. There we go. Let's go up to the North Pole. We will be claiming this North Pole and then building a polar hub. And so we're ready to place it. This is a procedure we've done before. We take polar hub number one, place it right against us, and that gets started on the build. Uh, this gets us the yellow line around, and if we move around, then this one should be... Ah, the warpers. And we need to go over to the opposite end here. It's the opposite one. And then let's get up oh, in here, polar hub. Number two is the outer towers. They can actually be placed from anywhere, but let's get them in here. And then go back in. Polar hub. Number three is the power. We choose the polar hub power. I tap once to get it aligned to... No, I tap twice to get it aligned to here. That is across from the yellow one. So that's... go. And that's going to go out. I will be requesting this, but we actually have that already uh, down here. So all of this is already here so let's reuse that and then from there on request good then let's go to either of the sides here this is the warpers so that's not it and then the other one will be the missile turrets this is the missile turret good let's uh, request the missile turrets again from here and missile turrets get in here then i am going to take another one polar hub ring number four Tap once, stamp down, and link it. Link it from here to here. Uh, there's something that isn't built, and two of those also, yes. And then as we go out here, we still don't have any power for this, but we don't actually mind getting some power, so let's just fire these up. There's no threat, so let's get the power working. And then I want to also make sure that we have some defense, like that. Get over the next one. If you place them right there, which I really should be making part of the blueprint, I just haven't yet, then it actually protects, it makes a really nice uh, cover of the entire polar area. And that gets everything protected real nice. There. And I just realized something else. Um, this one, yeah, you also need to be requesting. Good. Do you need to request more than... Definitely that, not that much. Okay, so this is also good. Uh, we have now um, found a little location here. This is safe. And the next thing we want to do is... Uh, we want to make the build for the rest of it. So that's the planet scale. So now we take this one. Uh, don't have the solar panels. I never. I always forget the solar panels because I don't automatically request them. So we're going to request them in here. And then we're going to be stamping down the blueprint when successful uh, when we get that we have the solar panels oh we have too much crap in our inventory <laughs> as usual and that's the solved by doing that 
that will be picked up. And uh, here we get the solar panels back in our inventory. We get the solar panels back in our inventory. Did you also steal some solar panels? Yes, you did. All right, cool. No one else still steal, stole some solar panels. Then planet scale. Here, we got everything. Stamp it down right there. Smash, shift, and boom. Now, a lot of stuff is not built, so we're going to have to run around and make sure that everything gets built. I do get some questions about why not just make uh, uh, planetary shields everywhere instead, so you get a whole cover of planetary shields. That takes a lot of power. This one doesn't really have a lot of power. Um, and I don't think I, I want to do that generally, and I know you can do it with a minimum amount, and yeah, maybe eight, or you can almost do it with eight. Um, or is it ten? I don't know. But... Um, I actually like this. I, I like the because it delimits my planet. So let's uh, zoom forward until I've done all the manual work. And so this planet is now secured and with signal towers and solar panels and just a global power grid collecting everything. It's really nice. Now what do we need to do on this planet? We need to mine this damn thing because that's the whole reason why we came here in the first place. Uh, what do we need to get? Like what does it say? It says 24. Whew. Okay, well, 24 it's gonna be. 23 is as close as it gets. The much deliberation, and we're gonna scale this up. Stalagmite! So I don't wanna export this. I actually just want to keep it on this planet and use it on this planet. We are also going to get. Uh, this is 22. That's all there is to it. Okay, good. So 22, this one. Uh, that is also going to be maximum. Uh, then at this point, we are going to take the this and supply there there oh, i forgot something and that one will also be there those are the two things we want to export and i have something that uh, is very important for the polar hub that i forgot to mention it's a little thing that is unfortunately manual but um yeah it's let's see the one with the warpers this the one with the warpers yes so you need to connect the warpers to this inner line Okay, maybe not as ugly as that, but might be like this. There, because then it gets everything is uh, is connected out here, and the one we just set up for import export. That one will now also get it. So now they are importing and sending back. Oh, and then back at, back home we're getting a little attack. Don't care, not one bit. And um, then we now have this location. What I also want to do is I want to tap all the coal because we don't want to make proliferation, but uh, we also want to actually start making uh, the carbon nanotubes that we're looking for. So this looks like a great place for building stuff because it's completely empty and devoid of things. So let's uh, get this location. All right, we got a nice flat area here and then we go in and we want to have an immediate PLS. I know I have uh, carbon uh, nanotubes here coming from spiny forms so let's see do i have everything i have everything of course i have everything i've prepared myself there i'm gonna stamp one down and i'm gonna be super greedy and stamp another one down there there we go and we can build all of that um let's build a little one of these just to get that going pop out a little bit on the actual build and go to the other side we're actually using the quantum whatever they're called I don't know what they're called. These ones. Quantum Chemical Pads. Well, that's a good name for it. And they will now be getting the spiny form in, which obviously we won't be able to get that much spiny form here. Uh, but we'll get some. We'll also get some proliferation. Thank you very much. Do we get some proliferation here? Yes. Get that over there. So that location. Go. Pretty important just to get this proliferation in. And then we actually get the carbon nanotubes. The carbon nanotubes go into the network that becomes available up here to the network from there it actually goes available to anywhere so that means now back on gyna cube we will actually be able to get a lot more uh, carbon nanotubes coming in so uh, after we see this working and we see it coming in here and that's 100 and it's actually going up to this location now we can go back to gyna cube and see what the progress is on our dyson sphere to wrap this up and here we are approaching from hyperspace, getting here. We can see that a lot of stuff has already been made up. And we just 
zoom out. Okay, uh, we still have like the red wine spill everywhere. It's a little bit difficult to see how much, but we can see here the Dyson shell power generation is now 3.2, so that it has now exceeded the Dyson shell generation has exceeded the Dyson swarm power generation, which is really nice. We're still requesting 9.5 gigawatt. That's a little bit much, but uh, uh, we'll we still have plenty to support. And the hives are stealing about half a gigawatt of power here. Uh, how many hives? We only have one hive, and it's not super dangerous. This one, uh, it's actually kind of uh, tame to say the least so we could easily take that out if we wanted to but that's not what we want to do now we have a glorious dyson sphere in progress and we now have a showed you how to claim planets even faster and also we uh, have set up carbon nanotubes in a little bit bigger scale so that's pretty awesome thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed it be sure to check out my uh, Twitch channel. I'm streaming Dyson Sphere program quite regularly. It's at Twitch TV slash Nilaus. If you want to get access to save games, you can support on Patreon and I really appreciate it. Or if you just want to be nice and help out with the running the channel, then that's also a good idea too. Well, it's it's it can be done on Patreon. Yes. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, take care and stay effective.